the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The second token I can know that you are a man of the secret place to the degree to which I see the riches of God's mercy upon your life ah. let me teach you something about mercy tonight that will change your life the mercy of God is something that people don't like to talk about because every time you say mercy um, usually people think that you are a fornicator or you are a thief or something so most people don't like the idea of mercy as a way of trying to preserve I'm, I'm not I'm not guilty of anything so why should I need mercy you will learn in this kingdom that mercy is the lifeline of your your the continuity of your relevance mercy has nothing to do with being a sinner is a system by which God vetoes and overlooks your weaknesses. It's a powerful system. Mercy. Psalm 86, please, and verse 5. And then we look at Lamentation chapter 3. It's all right if we do this as a Bible study. Psalm 86 and verse 5. Let's hurry up, please. It says, For thou, O Lord, art good, and ready to forgive help me please and plenteous in mercy not unto them that need it not unto them that need it your needing mercy does not bring mercy to you you must be humble to cry for mercy notice in scripture every time a man told God have mercy faith was not mentioned again thou son of David have mercy on me I don't have an idea of what I need to do. But if you are there, help me. Let me tell you this. You will see two people make the same mistake. And one will pass as if Satan does not exist. And the other becomes a victim. I tell you, men know how to run to God to say, Lord, I know that the Lord is gracious and compassionate. Slow to anger and rich in love. Mercy is a language of champions, not sinners. You will need the mercy of God upon your life for as long as you live. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Give us Lamentation chapter 3 and 22. Please know these scriptures as God is lifting you. These are arsenals that you will need for your continuity. That it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not there have been things in my life that I got that I cannot remember praying for there are realms and dimensions I entered that I cannot exactly remember asking God for I would not be foolish to receive the applause of men as though it were my making I know his mercy above the mercy seat below the cherubims there I will meet with you God meets with men at the place of mercy is one of the ways that God helped men. Let me tell you this. Fearful is a man who God directs his jealousy towards. You will wait for his fall and you will never see him fall. Even if he was supposed to. Mercy is a dimension of God that is strangely mysterious. The ability to see and act like he did not see. Mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. That we can obtain mercy from the throne of grace. Let me show you a scripture. 
Psalm 25 and verse 6 and 7. Is God blessing someone tonight? Psalm 25, 6, 7. Please read with me. One to read. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses, for they have been ever of old. 27. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake. Let me tell you sincerely, precious people of God, it is true that the soul that sinneth, it shall die. It is true that the throne of God is built upon righteousness and justice. The Bible says they are the foundations of his throne. God is a very powerful God. Knowing that his mercy will need to come in. You see, when God's mercy comes in, he uses his discretion and his sovereignty to be the basis of relating with man. It no longer is your faith. Understand what I said. Let me repeat myself. The mercy of God does not negate the reality of faith. Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying that the moment the mercy of God is invoked, the condition, the premise for his relating with you changes. It, it now becomes his, his prerogative absolutely having nothing to do with your being qualified or not. It's not a, lic a license for licentiousness. It is his system. They, these are tokens of advantage. God knows that it is impossible for a man in his lifetime to be flawless. It takes obeying God thoroughly to see all of him. And nobody sustains that ability in the flesh. And so he interjected tokens like mercy and favor as ways of correcting the limitations of men so that in spite of you you will still arrive listen do you know why satan cannot be forgiven because mercy only works in time if you do not dwell in the realm of time you are not a candidate of mercy hey. this is the reason why god The angels that left their original estate, there is no record in scripture for a possibility that they will ever be restituted into the program of God. They are gone and gone for good. Lucifer inclusive. Are we together? That anyone who is not part of the program of God in time cannot experience his mercy. You will experience his justice but not his mercy. Knowing the vulnerability of the man he seeks to use, he not only gave us mercy but programmed it in time to recycle every 24 hours. The same way he gave time. So the Bible says his mercies are new every morning. You can take advantage of mercy planted and programmed in time that he showed you mercy yesterday. If it was not attached to time, then it can be that this is enough for you. But now, the mercy of yesterday has nothing to do with the mercy of tomorrow. This gives us an opportunity to continue to remedy for the default of our humanity again and again and again. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. It's a revelation that we must understand. One time, a man of God was sharing how that they were in a pastor's conference and Papa Ia Deboe was there and they had a session where they needed to just pray and everyone was praying and he came to lie down close to the altar near the great father of faith so that he would hear how he was going to pray. And he said for over two hours, all he was saying was mercy, mercy Lord, mercy, mercy Lord. The younger ministers were shouting, God, this land must arrive. You, I mean, the, the, how much is meant? How much is this? Oh God, this building, this church. There is a realm you get to where you don't have prayer requests again. Your requests are useless when mercy is not there. The tray that will carry your greatness is called mercy. 
you will need the mercy of God to both stand and last. Mercy. Number three. I know you are a man of the secret place. When I see the depth of spiritual illumination, your access to light, the body of knowledge allocated for the victory of the saints can only be accessed not just in a Bible study, generically speaking. You will need to truly stay with God in the secret place to access spiritual illumination. The king had a dream. Forgot the dream. Forgot the interpretation. And in the days of Daniel, they were about to kill everyone. And Daniel said, let the king not be so hasty. Just give us time. And then the Bible says that Daniel went, discussed with his friends, and stayed in the secret place to pray. And then the secret was revealed unto Daniel there are things that will never come by any amount of study there is a kind of knowledge that comes as a token when his presence is living the rub off of that light you receive it as a mystery that will last for years that was how Moses wrote Genesis the five books down to Deuteronomy he was able to see what we know theologically as the back of God to see eternity past listen to me you don't get the spirit of revelation just by listening to messages and listening to men of God that is wonderful don't get me wrong the eye of the spirit is a reward you must trust God for the grace to stay until you see listen when Jesus resurrected well I'm, I'm rushing because we have to pray and, and, and time is not on our side when Jesus resurrected the Bible tells us if you remember that Mary of Magdala came to the tomb remember that other disciples had come to the tomb they looked but they didn't have the time to wait so they did not see Jesus but a woman came and looked and said I'm not going as she stayed there looking suddenly Two angels appeared and said, Madam, what are you looking at? When you stay and look, you will see. Yes, you will see. Yes, you will see. When you stay in the secret place, you will see. You will hear sounds that are not given for men to hear. You will see things. You will access the mysteries of God in dimensions that will surprise you. You would never get revelation by copying men. It can only help to prime your desire. You will need to have a track record of a genuine encounter with the light of God. It is only in your light that we see light. You cannot see when he does not light the path. Hallelujah. I don't know if this is the best time to share some of my encounters, but... I remember after my encounter with the Lord Jesus, I started having strange moments where I would stay for hours just locking myself and my Bible will be by the side of my bed or wherever and I will wake up to find my Bible close to me, open to certain specific chapters. That was how the Holy Spirit began to teach me. I didn't invent how to study. Literally. Literally. sometimes like you know a fog that fog will fill my room and right there it's as if you are downloading a software things I did not know like prophecy what meaning these things I never had the time to crime scriptures as it were I had a good background but they didn't have that time it was in one of these encounters that something happened to me as soon as I pick the Bible, I can quote chapters and chapters and chapters and chapters. Just like that. 
Now, you can do that and learn it like you do the Quran. But there is a genuine way. The light that comes from him. <laughs> May that light this night truly from God rest upon someone's spiritual life. You see, sir, one of the things that I've learned, especially because of our appetite for knowledge, right now there seems to be an unwritten rule, especially in ministry. The vastness of your spiritual knowledge seems to be the basis of accreditation and respect and honor. And that pressure has pushed a lot of men to go online and just download anything, anything, anything. Once the information is cast, they believe it's worthy of reception. So that in, in the dispensing of the information, then you would receive some honor as one who has done a good research. While that is wonderful, many have dappled into all kinds of metaphysical, Scientology, activities of necromancy and mantra and all kinds of religions. You see all kinds of books in their PDF format. And our hunger without guidance will drive us to those things. We bring them down and find ourselves walking in possibilities that were not sponsored by the Spirit of God. Egypt was a place of intelligence. It was a place of knowledge. They were vast in their knowledge. So when Moses came and performed a sign, they already had in their archives a formula to reproduce the same result. That's why the Bible says, I have many things to tell you, but ye cannot bear them now. It says, how be it when he, the spirit of truth is come, he, he will guide you into all truth. There is a body of information that is healthy for your growth and relevance. And it is within the office of the spirit of God to guide you into that body of truth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is lack of genuine illumination that is responsible for the doctrinal confusion and, and the, the imbalances that we continue to suffer in the body of Christ, broadly speaking. Because there are rules of engagement. You do not make doctrines out of a personal experience. In as much as I continue to tell you about my personal experiences, they are uniquely, they, they, they were products of my hunger alongside the dimension that God would want to use me. And that is not a universal template for everyone to follow. And so the authority of scripture remains Lord even over my experiences. I cannot bring my experiences and make it a template. This is usually how error starts. Because of the nature of my walk with God, he can vet my life and say, Apostle, based on my dealings with you, you cannot have more than three cars in your life. Based on my economy and my dealing with you, this is the most healthy state that will help you to be efficient spiritually. Now, if I build a doctrine out of that experience, and I call everyone who has four or five or six cars, I say you are in error based on my gospel. Usually the ones I mentor will now take that doctrine and it will not only become the error of Balaam, it will now become the way of Balaam and by revelation it will become the doctrine of Balaam. It says the spirit speaketh expressly that in the last day some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and the doctrines of demons. We need genuine spiritual illumination. You know that light came from God by what it does to darkness. When the light you bring refuses to affect darkness, then it was not light. The character of light that comes from Christ is that it must affect darkness. 
So if I lay hands on you and you become worse than you were when I met you, something must be checked. Now I may not know, but it does not mean that it should not be checked. There were people who received impartations in meetings and from that day, their spiritual lives went down. Not because of an attack. I'm not scaring you. I'm opening you up to these things. I came, this was what the Lord put in my heart to share even at this service. Illumination. We must trust God for grace. Having said that, I must also balance, especially for those that God have, has helped to be in ministry. There are too many options to allow members sit in a place where there is no genuine revelation. People are hungry. People are looking for truth. They are searching for truth. That's the reason why you must thank God for platforms like this. Every man of God, much more than inviting members, we have assignments to sit down and trust God to see, to see, to see. Recycling messages as proof of our limitation when we plateau at a dimension and continue to give excuses. Um, very soon, the empty pews will be proof that our people are tired. It shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be exalted above all the mountains and over the hills and then all nations shall flow through it. They will tell one another, come let us go to the house of God, to the mount of Jacob. There he will teach us his ways. For out of Zion shall proceed the law. It's going to be a place of mentorship. Bethel, the place of bread. The hallowed bread of the spirit. That when men sit down and lend us, when members lend us their five, two hours, three hours, one hour, they must live with an experience. Darkness gone. Light. Nobody leaves what works. The difficulty in looking for membership is a letter from our darkness and our ignorance to us that we need more light. This is an uncomfortable teaching tonight, but please don't be dissatisfied. It's to stretch us and bring us to a point of stability and power and results where a territory can know that Christ is still Lord. Otherwise, we'll continue to fade like a garment and get to a point where darkness will arise and sit upon the throne of governance. He says, you are the light of the world. The definition of darkness is a territory without you, without your convictions, without your value system. Hallelujah. I consider it wicked for me to gather a people as a man of God and just recycle revelations and not have anything to tell them. We owe people growth. We owe them growth that comes by light. The body of knowledge allocated for the victory of the saints. Illumination. Let's take one more and then we round up for tonight. I know you're a man of the secret place because it is a place of genuine spiritual empowerment. The secret place is the place of the oil, is the place of the wine, is the place of grace, is the place of power. The generation that downplays the power of God is the generation that will lose relevance in God's program. Signs, wonders, transformation, the workings of God. And this has nothing to do with being in ministry. The place of spiritual empowerment. Jeremiah chapter 1. From verse 5 to 10. This was a conversation between the little Jeremiah. 
before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And ordained. Everybody say ordained. Say anointed. An ordination is not just a call to ministry. It's the authorization to be there. And the way God authorizes men is by bringing the oil that is responsible for the solution to be provided. If the oil is not on you, no matter what was done, you were not ordained. True ordination is the hand of God and the oil from the throne allocated for the revelation of a dimension of God committed to you that works all the time not sometimes there are many people who will tell you I was called into the healing ministry and the healing result is one over a hundred something is wrong with that ordination there is no testament. I'm called into the worship ministry and you write one song per year. There is no ordination. There is a desire, but there is no ordination. I'm a teacher of the word and your sermons are full of confusions here and there. There is no ordination. I ordained you to be a prophet to the nation. Next verse, please. Then he said, Ah, Lord, behold, I cannot speak for I'm a child. Seven. But the Lord said, Say not that I'm a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and let me show you how God ordains men. He put his hand, touched my mouth, and he said, Behold, I have put my words. If I call you as a prophet, you will not say what you want to say. I must put something from me upon you. Ah. That your hand, O oh God, will come upon a man and turn that man to a sign and a wonder. Listen, if God tells you what he's calling you into go and cry for the oil of that mission Lord I'm tired of bringing reproach to your name by proposing dimensions I cannot defend send help from heaven put something upon my life that is a testament of an encounter Moses said Pharaoh will not believe me. Ramesses was my half-brother. I know the stubbornness of his heart. I need an evidence. There is no witness without an evidence. Please, let's trust God for grace for real results. Genuine results. Genuine results. Genuine results. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah, say, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Please listen to me. We're about to pray. Every assignment God gave you, there is an oil for it. Have you found it? This is why we're here tonight. There is some prayer we are going to pray tonight. And someone will have to take something this night and leave this place with it knowing I came, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to house on the rock. I came there and found the oil of my destiny. I've been a prophet for years but tonight I found it the ordination
the next five minutes I don't know how you are going to pray but cry Lord the grace for the secret place number two the anointing the mantle and the ordination tired of looking like others tired of fighting others brand my impact by your grace place something upon my life You are in ministry. Cry to the God of heaven. You are a worshiper. Call into the worship ministry. Where is the spirit of David that should be upon you? Oh, thou prophet, where is the spirit of Elijah? We see not the signs. Those outside, please pray. Those online, pray. Here at House on the Rock, Joss. The Lord himself opening men to portals, doorways and dimensions in the spirit. There has to be a way out, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, tonight I surrender everything. Lift your voice and pray. Everything. 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 Is someone praying? Everything, oh God, let it be yours. Go me na na kane. 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 Yeshua, Amashia. Go me na na. Yeshua, Amashia, Komi na na kade, 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 Yeshua, Amashia. Come in and says nevertheless the foundation of the Lord standeth sure having this seal the Lord knoweth them that are his 
and he says let every man that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity then he says but in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver of wood and clay he says that some vessels are unto honor and others unto dishonor then he says if a man will purge himself that man will be a vessel unto honor meet for the master's use you're going to lift up a prayer Lord what in my life must die for me to rise it was in the year King Uzziah died that I saw the Lord what must die for me to see a higher dimension take it oh God take it oh God lift your voice and pray every flesh every lust every pride that must die tonight every vain glory Circumcision happened tonight. That's oh God. Let there be a sign. Let there be a token upon my life. Let something from heaven come upon my life that a generation will acknowledge that the hand of Jehovah is upon me. Era patos kabaranata, ekretas kabata katos, kaparunsa katos kalata, ebreta zatela kata, embreketa. Lord, you have called me to be an intercessor. Where is the spirit of grace and supplication? Will it not come upon my life? You called me to be a leader. Where is the grace that was on Joseph? The spirit that provides influence. Two minutes. Pray. The flesh may be weak, but the spirit is willing. The 
fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from your throne. And my destiny will hear My altar is calling you Oh God My sacrifice is calling you Oh God Yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah Spirit is walking across this congregation and I'm hearing in my spirit separation 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 there is a grace that is separating people right now separation men and women an ordination is happening in this place an ordination an initiation into a dimension of glory a dimension of grace a dimension of power. That prophetic dimension is coming upon you. I'm seeing a quickening. That prophetic dimension, real power, not just to talk, but to speak. The grace, the unction from heaven. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and run some captivity, Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. Will you ransom captivity, Israel? Oh, come, oh, come, me, man, you well, and ransom captivity, Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, me, man, you well, has come to you, his Israel. There is an anointing for intimacy, grace to spend time with God. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. I release that grace upon you. The spirit of hunger. Hunger for the things of God. Makato shalakato kata. Hunger that ministry cannot satisfy. Hunger that money cannot satisfy. I don't know who this man of God is, but there is an anointing coming on this man. This man on suit. Strange grace I see in the spirit. You are drinking of the wine of the spirit. You will never, never be the same. Never be the same. want to pray a prayer the grace for genuine signs wonders and miracles many of the things we call signs and wonders we should be ashamed of if we look at it from the light of God's word that the oppressed are genuinely delivered a 
stage long captivities vanish within a service the lifetime of a service is too long for people's captivity to remain there are people tonight that must drink of that wine the grace to stand in the office of the Christ and to minister power and life that when men see you they rejoice because they know their captivity has come to an end to appoint unto them that mourn I decree and declare oh God like the dew of Hammon someone must catch this case it may not be everybody but what where is that one who has been fasting where is that one whose heart has touched your mercy that must carry a grace tonight for genuine signs and wonders I pray by the spirit of grace may that mantle find someone right now may that grace find someone right now in the name of Jesus Christ help that woman please so she doesn't enjoy herself hallelujah who is Amos Amos I hear a name Amos Amos who is Godia Godia I'm hearing a name Godia who is that please what's your name my friend Amos What's your name, sir? Pastor, can you spare me five minutes? This is called the house on the rock. Okay. My friend, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus? I'll pray for you. What do you do? I play football. I want to pray for you. This is more than football. There is a prophetic grace on your life. It's more than football. The angel of the Lord is asking me to stand here. Bring the person here that shouts under the anointing. I want to speak to the person. The power of God is coming on that person now. It's a loud shout. A loud shout to the hearing of everybody. Please pick the person and bring. There is a woman here. You came here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Please, where are you? A woman. I'm not, I don't know if she's outside. I command that spirit. Now. Let her go. Now. Did the Bible not say now the Lord is that spirit? And it says where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. Liberty. Let me tell you. Except God is not God. What followed you this night? must let you go now this place. madam please stand up don't cry house on the rock pastor God bless you for putting this meeting God bless you God bless you every time people are touched it's amazing how little opportunities like this just take away madam I don't know you but the Lord, I'm seeing like a towel wiping your tears. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, in the month of August, I'm stretching my hands towards you because I'm seeing like oil. Hold her please and just keep her down. The favor of God is coming upon your life. The month of August is a strange month of lifting for you. This is what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Captivity comes to an end now by the power of the Holy Spirit. If he is here and if he came we should know and they should know I release you this guy I'm seeing this guy tied from head to toe right now I declare in the name of Jesus be released from everything that is not the Christ 
I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone will start running under the anointing. Please hold that person and bring that person out for me now. This row, right now. This row, like run, literally, physical, run. I told you, hold the person. Holy fire, burn upon my heart. From In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over this gentleman and I declare, I'm seeing upon this man the spirit of a wanderer moving around and not doing anything. I declare right now by the spirit of grace, be free now and forever. In the name of Jesus, my sister on the ground, I take away what is on your stomach, that, that the devil has put in your stomach to be said in three years that it was fibroid. I take it out now by the Spirit of God. See, let me teach you something. You see, every time God puts meetings like this, be discerning to register your presence. It, 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 even if it's a marriage seminar, if you hear God is coming, come to. Is this man a man of God? Are you, this man seated. Are you a pastor, sir? Please come. Your life is about to change. I don't know you from anywhere. You're a pastor where, sir? It's here, in, in here, house on the rock? No. Where? A pastor church. Your, your own church? Yes, sir. What's the name? Fountain of Life Ministry. Fountain of Life. You are a great teacher of the word. But in addition to the teaching ministry, you are entering a strange dimension of the healing ministry. Truly you love the Lord, but I pray for you. Capacity in the spirit. I stretch my hands by the grace of God and the office that anoints and imparts. I release you into this dimension from today. Turn into another man. I set you on fire and I define, I measure a thousand cubits of this ministry and I speak by the spirit of grace. Enter a new season and a new dimension of power. In addition to the grace that will teach, you carry the grace that will heal. In the name of Jesus. Madam, excuse me, what's your name? Hold on. Where are you? What tribe are you? Igbo. You are Igbo? Yes, sir. Ah, I'm seeing an angel giving me a gift. What's your name? Gift Junior. Your name is Gift. That is the gift that God is about to give you. How long have you been married? A year, six months now. And nothing is happening. I lost two, sir. You lost two? Yes, sir. Miscarriages. Madam, it's not miscarriages. They happen after the dreams you had. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Let's not go into it. But there is a God in heaven. Amen. Just hear me. God is still alive, oh. And is alive tonight here at House on the Rock. There is a God in heaven. My brothers and my sisters, don't get used to your pain. There is a God in heaven. Every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. Madam, you believe in Jesus? I want you to shout Jesus as loud as you can. Look at me. Go and prepare. I'm seeing a baby girl. The Lord is bringing it. I declare that the power and the yoke behind this. Make sure you return to testify oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be over. Tell your husband, look at me. Tell your husband that a man of God at House on the Rock said to tell him he is healed. Amen. Does this make sense to you? Go and tell him. Yes, sir. There is a condition he has that he's not even aware of. I must pray for you because it can affect your birth. Tell him that he's healed. Let's just leave it there. Amen. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ. You too, my dear? You're married? How long? Six months. Six months. Yes. 
Someone's sister is married seven years, no child. Seven years, no child. You're in the congregation here. Seven years. We're rounding up seven years. I, I just felt in my heart to just let God change people's lives this night. Seven years, no child. Please make sure you don't come out randomly. Let's have someone just vet them here so they don't. You, are you married? No, sir, my sister. If you come out for food of life, please make sure you're married. Your sister, where is she? They did your introduction and the guy left. <laughs> Who is that? Who is the person? They did your introduction. Oh, people were happy and everything tore apart again. You have now reduced to nothing. Who is that? I need to pray for you now. You are a lady. You are wearing white. Where are you? This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Who is that? Don't cry, my dear. Please don't cry. Jesus is Lord. You see, let me tell you the truth. People are going through real problems real problems and just because people fake prophecy here and there and manipulate things does not mean God does not reach people this is this is one thing that God is raising people to correct just because here and there there are all kinds of things and then there, there's no soundness of the word and here and there people take advantage of people and manipulate people it should not make you scared of the investments of the spirit it's for the advantage of the saints my dear look at me you're a copper here state. you came from Bauchi state yes. my god why are they here mama please why is she here your sister no child Seven years married, no child. Mama, where are you from, please? I'm from Imo. You are from Imo State. Can we pray for your sister? Yes. What's her name, ma? Emilia. Emilia. In the name of Jesus, here at House on the Rock, we agree as the church of the Lord that after these seven years, she must have a child and give birth like the Hebrew women. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My dear, where is your sister? Hyper. What's her name? Hefziba. Hefziba. Yes, sir. She doesn't have a child? Yes, sir. How long? Get into eight years. Get into eight years. Three. three years. She's not been pregnant. Yes, she has dreams after dreams. Don't worry. Let me talk to you. By the end of this month, she should go to the hospital for a test. In the name of Jesus Christ and by the spirit of the living God. And the dream that she has of a man coming to sleep with her and then everything happens, we declare in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us, the Bible says he nailed it to the cross. We enforce that reality now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, why are these people here? Marriages fruit of the womb how many of you i just want to pray for you you believe god will give it to you please don't try don't come hoping it will happen or not no no i know you've been prayed for every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it before you believe a man find out about him jesus christ put his manifesto in scripture so that we'll look at the bible says to minister according to the measure of grace i pray for you in the name that is above all names by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead. My sister, look at me. Shout Jesus. Amen. That's not Jesus. You are shout Jesus. Jesus. She's shy. Don't be. Jesus. Place your hand on your stomach. I'm seeing something tied around your stomach. I lose it now. 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 By the spirit of grace. Look what is happening to her. She was just shouting Jesus. She's not even aware. Ah, the spirit of God. A time will come, church will become like a viewing center. Whether there's service or not, people will come and sit there. Because they would have learned that there is a residue of the presence of God. Church is not a nuisance to civilization. No. No. In the name of Jesus, I declare to you, regardless of what the medical condition is, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, return with your child 
in the name of Jesus Christ. There's one of you here, your sister will have twins. The power of God will come on that person now. No, no, listen, I'm not, this is an exact prophecy. That's the lady. Go and tell your sister that God visited her here at House on the Rock. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, for all of you trusting God for fruit of the womb, in Jesus' name, return with it. Amen. Return with it. Amen. There is a banker here. There is trouble in your bank right now as I'm speaking. I'm seeing someone we don't have. There's, I'm seeing an issue that has to do with your bank where you work. And I must pray for you. Please, when I pray for you, you can return back to your seat. We're rounding up. We're rounding up. This is the lady that came out. My dear, look at me. Where are you from? What do you have to do with um, Makodi? From Benue State. You're from Benue State. Jesus be praised. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. That he has been exalted above every name, thrones dominions and every name that is named of things in the earth of things under the earth there is a name there are names but there is a name the name of Jesus is not a chant it's not a charm it's not a genie it is a name with an office that backs it I declare oppression not just over your life but over your family let it be gone like smoke before the wind in the name of Jesus Christ and may the Lord restore you and for all of you here gentlemen um, football is what you do that's all you do where is the pain around your leg which one lift it up how would I know someone put a bandage on his leg look at that Because I looked at that and I saw a bandage and I saw a pain. This came from football. But there is a God in heaven. Listen to me. We'll round up this prayer by praying. If this thing is not on you, don't act like it is there. Pray to come genuinely. Believe God for it. Our generation has too much results to work with shadows. We need to bring the substance of spiritual reality. We need to defend the things that we propose. My brother, you believe in miracles? You believe in miracles? How long has this been? It's been close to two weeks. Two weeks? Yes, sir. Touch it. I bring you the life and the power of this kingdom that we so talk about. In the name of Jesus. Look at me. Run. Jump up and down. Any pain. Look at this. Completely. In the name of Jesus. Any pain. What happened to you now? I'm healed. Completely. I'm Check healed. it. Check I'm it. Make sure you are not faking it. Look at this. Look at this. Lose the bandage. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, thank you. Jesus, thank you. understand this is how to tell people you came to church you go 
back and say, I went to church. I went to church. This is proof that he is alive. There is a God that sits in heaven. My brother, look at me. The Lord will take you to a dimension that this that was once a bandage may it become something that will empower you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's your name, sir? I'm Amos, my name, sir. You're Amos. What do you do, sir? Commercial driver for now. You're a commercial driver? Yes, sir. Where? The angels. I want to pray with you. Who is building? Who is building a house? I hope you will not be embarrassed. Sir. Can I talk to you, sir? Because I need to pray for you, sir. Um, I, you may not need to come out. Let me just honor you where you are. But I want to pray for you. Ah. You see, Ba, wickedness is real. I don't know this man, but the power of God is coming on you now. This this our father lifting his hands. An anointing is coming on you. It's called the finisher's anointing. The Bible says, please help him, the hand of Zerubbabel. Why will you start a project and resources vanish just like that? Help the man, please. Because this is what I'm seeing in the spirit. This man starts a project and what the, the problem with him is what is on you. This one raising your hand, come. Are you building? You. Hold on, please. Let me talk to you. There is stand up. The trouble, this guy, you are from Edo State. Where are you from? Edo State. Yes, sir. Benin. Yes, sir. That's where the house is. Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. Look at me, my friend. You need to amend your way. Stand up. God is not a herbalist. Huh? Your relationship with God is very. Look at me. Don't feel embarrassed. I'm not here to embarrass you. This is church. Huh? You know what the Bible calls cares. You have to. You see, let me tell you, you are not truly born again till your association changes. There's no such thing as it does not matter. You are either there or you are not there, period. So you, you must summon the courage to edit your relationships by the Spirit of God. But I must pray for you. The kind of speed that will come and look at me. Receive grace to not be arrogant. You hear what I'm telling you? I will stop there. You see, when you say my power and the might of my hands, yesterday I taught at our Kingdom Wealth Summit, in this kingdom we don't own things. Owners are rebels. We are only stewards. Whatever you own, you maintain by yourself. This is the cause of high blood pressure. The Bible says, moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. I pray for you. There is a grace. Let me talk to him. Give him the mic. Tell me what happened in your dream last night when you slept. I saw you. I, I saw myself in a meeting like this because I'm a copper here in Jos. I don't even know. That's what. Just, just talk to I, me. I, you, I, you saw me in your dream. Yes, I what was I, I doing? Meeting like this, we are ministry because I normally play your messages. But that's not the first time. The last time before this dream, what did you see? Can you remember? You had a dream and hands were laid on you. You need to be serious with God. My friend, the Lord loves you. But I know you are listening to these messages, but you see, when you are still rooted in certain aspects of culture, they will interrupt your growth process. doesn't matter what you are listening to. The kingdom itself is a culture. And there are certain habits that may be subliminal. We may not know we've been environmentally conditioned to reject certain dimensions of God. We must embrace God. Right? There are cultures where if you have it, you must show it. That's how you get respect. In the kingdom, we are cultured into another kind of lifestyle. May the God of all grace help you. Hold my hands. You drink of this grace. You'll never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fire is coming on your hands, my sister, the one standing. You don't have to come here. Right there. It's over. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have to round up. 
one day I'm sure that God will create a greater platform to really be able to minister to his people. Hallelujah. Where is the overflow? Outside. Okay, here, one here. Both overflows. The power of God will come on someone here and someone here. We're rounding up, but bring the person here, please. One here and one here. Wherever, doesn't matter where the overflow is. It's a sign. Please bring, pick the person. The angel of the Lord. Bring in. Please don't rough handle them. Just hold them with honor. And then we're going to pray. Am I wasting your time tonight, Joss? Praise the Lord. Just a few minutes. They've not paid your father. There is some money that is supposed to have come to your father this thing is close to is at least five years this is i don't know whether this is some money that you have prayed you have gotten lawyers the family has where is that person help them my friend that gentleman raising your hand is that the situation just lift your hand right where you are the power of god is coming on you now and the, the money for your parents, I don't know what is it that has been tied, but in the name of Jesus Christ, we command a release by the Spirit of God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, this is the, the person from the overflow. My friend, that spirit out of him now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let his destiny go, I release you now. My God. Oppression is real, oh. but again, there is a name that is above every other name. It's not just a scripture to recite, it's a reality to experience. Not just you, my dear, but your entire family be free now by the God of heaven. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you this. If there is any family here under the sound of my voice that things are not working for, regardless what you do, you know what I mean? That all doors close. Shakatos kabata. I stand right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. If you belong to that category, at the count of three, as I pray, the power of God comes on you and opens that door. One, two, three. That door be opened now. Be open now. Every closed door over any family. Just I speak to you by the rod of a higher priesthood. Doors be open now. Be open now. Be open now. You cannot come to a church like this. For a meeting like this, the lifetime of your impact should, 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 should last. One service is enough for your life to change. Why should you come with doors closed and go back with doors closed? I say it again. I don't know what has refused to open, but I join my faith with the faith of the servants of God here. I shout it by the Spirit of God. At the count of three, I don't care for how long. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Hallelujah. I want to pray. The Lord is showing me a vision. I'm seeing I'm seeing a cry. Have they appointed commissioners? We ha huh? Not yet. We have to pray. 
there is somebody that is the will of God for him to come there but I'm seeing people try to talk the governor away to remove the name and it is God's will now I'm, 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 I'm not I'm not necessarily talking about here but in the name of Jesus I declare right now that the powers of the Medes and the Persians will not interrupt the government of Jaws. I speak to you in parables and I speak to you by the Spirit. Hallelujah. We have to cancel death. I'm seeing one of the kings in this land very sick and if we don't pray i'm seeing an obituary like death somebody one of the ruling elders one of the local i'm not a prophet of doom please i don't just come and prophesy nonsense this is coming so that god will redeem his people but in the name of jesus we extend his life by the power that raised christ from the dead we expand his life in the name of jesus my dear look at me that rejected stone, don't cry. That rejected stone will become the chief cornerstone. Don't let anyone despise you. I minister hope and healing to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And that every voice that is not of the Christ, I declare that it must let you go. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Any project your hand started, that resources just vanished I stand by the power of prophecy and I speak to you please hear the word of the Lord I speak by the spirit of grace between now and the end of this month I stand in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare speed over that project now Yabo, we have to close. Yabo, Y A B O. Yabo, is that a name? Is that a son name? Is that someone's? I'm hearing a name. Yabo, Yabo, and that should be Y A B O or something like that. And we want to pray for that person's family. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm declaring, I'm still seeing this guy. I don't know if, whether the person is here or not every trouble that will implicate you in the bank that you're working in the bank and i'm seeing something that has to do with money missing and they ask everybody to pay huge millions of naira and in the name of jesus we cancel it by the spirit of god yeah. come again you walk in the bank oh i see what bank sir cbn cbn you walk in cbn The rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous. It says, lest they dip their hands in iniquity. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord himself protect and preserve you. By all means, he will give you peace. Always. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Sometimes you just check the time. Madam, come. What is wrong with you? If she can't speak English, any language she can speak, there should be she something. Having a spirit attack. Spirit ah, ah, attack. Look at me. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing something joining me and you. Yes. What tribe are you? I'm Taro. The baby will cry. Somebody, a mother or so, help the don't take the child far from the mother. The child is going to cry. Just hold the child. Sorry, uh, young man. I have to pray for you, my dear. Cry. Ah. May God forbid what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman and I'm already seeing a coffin with a woman inside. This is what I'm seeing. Let me tell you the truth. Wickedness should not scare you. Ah. What is... Ah. The boy has been what? To come here. Oh my God. 
I'm looking at this woman and I'm seeing something that has been finished. This is a woman that has died. They've, they've covered the place. Don't cry. Cry. Madam, stand up. This is her. This is the boy. Soul. But the last Adam, a life given spirit. Madam, look at me. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I speak to death. It knows my voice. I command it to pass over you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. And the authority of witchcraft, the ordinances, the tokens of death. I declare, O oh death, where is thy sting? And O oh grave, where is thy victory? We decree and declare, and for this young man, may the God who raises men raise this boy. Like Jeremiah, may he become mighty. Like Joshua, may you be a warrior. In the name of Jesus Christ. And everything that is not of God, madam, I speak to you in the name of Jesus. Let it be over right now. In the name of Jesus. Who is Habila? Habila. I promise you a few minutes and we're done. I apologize. Habila. 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 I'm hearing the name Habila. Somebody's father is in Jude. Now, currently, on admission, lying down in Jude. That's just university, um, just university teaching hospital. Jude. We have to pray. I'm seeing. Who is this gentleman? What's your name, sir? Habila, Habila Mark. Habila Mark. Yes, sir. That's your name. Where are you from? From Plateau State, sir. Plateau State. Yes, sir. Inamama. Go and tell mama that in the name of Jesus she will not cry between now and the end of the year. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? I will leave it there. It will not be that she will call people and say, So, how can I have to We rebuke it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah. I want to pray. Just listen. I just saw a ghastly motor accident. A car and Keke Napep, this tricycle, this boys, just negotiating a bend and it just hit someone. And the person who would have died, the family member is here. The power of God will come on that person now. No, 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 no. It's not a general prayer. It's a specific individual now as I'm praying. God is going to deliver. Ah, ah, hold on, no. This, hold on, sir. I deliver your wife from death. Come. Come. A few, I'm seeing that the devil would have killed your wife. It would have been that by now you will be a widower. She this, had an accident today. Today. With Kekena Pep. This is what I'm saying. Kekena Pep. Yes. Where? At uh, between um, just uh, this. Wife, where are you? Is she, is she, where She's she? around. My wife? wife around. Today. She said, oh my God, look at this. Don't cry. Don't cry, my dear. You are before the God of heaven. Look at. And you would have said, How can I allah Sharia? You see what we are saying now? Don't cry, my dear. Ghastly motor accident. Orchestrated by hell. There is a God, oh. There is a God that sits on the circles of the earth. When men vent their pride, he watches in his majesty. If he doesn't act, it's an act of his mercy, not weakness. My sister, please do not fear. There is a God in heaven. Huh? You will live long with your husband. The Bible says, How many children do you have? Two. Adrian, yes, sir. Two. Only. Look at me. One, two, three, four. This is what I'm seeing. There's two more. How many children did you plan to have? Four. Four. So two more on the way. The, I, I, I'm sorry for embarrassing you. From back to Please. I, the plan is not to embarrass you. Hmm? So, madam, congratulations in Jesus' name. You too, congratulations in Jesus' name. You will never give birth to foolish children in Jesus' name. You will give birth to princes, Deborahs, Esthers. My dear, 
I declare death huh, will never come around your vicinity in the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't be afraid. Look, let me tell you, if death is following you, even if you miss a flight, a train will kill you. When, once you are appointed to death, it's only the spirit of life that will free you. So it's not refusing to enter Kekena Pep. You'll say, okay, I won't enter Kekena Pep or I won't carry anything. No, these things are spiritual. But in the name of Jesus, I minister life to you and I minister life to your husband. I declare both of you. An anointing is coming on both of you and it's a grace for wealth. Receive it now, two of you. Grace for wealth. The Lord is putting something upon your shoulder and he's shifting you to a dimension of increase. You can be wealthy and still be godly. Psalm 112, blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. He said, his seed shall be mighty upon earth. Then he says, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. He says, wealth and riches shall be in his house. And in spite of it, his righteousness endures forever. Praise the Lord. My dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you are free. Free from the spirit of death. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Everyone here trusting God for a job. Let's, let's settle this thing once and for all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh -uh. Hold on please. You are a caterer. But nobody patronizes you. This thing does not work. Where are you? Madam come. Because the woman is crying and I'm hearing her cry in the spirit. Madam, please look at me. You cook, like you know what I mean by um, what they call them here, like for weddings, birthdays, and you, she yes, does it. Yes, sir. Yet the patronage is not there. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, uh, I'm seeing this woman hold a man walking. Then I'm not seeing a man again. I'm seeing the man gone. And only the woman walking. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm seeing two people, like wedding now from the altar, walking. And then later, I see the woman walking alone. Where is your husband? In the name of Jesus, the boy wants impartation. In the name of Jesus, madam, I declare, I don't know what it is that you do, but in Jesus' name, we declare here at House on the Rock, here in Joss, we speak to your business. Everything that is alive grows. Growth is a characteristic of living things. So when a thing does not grow, it means it's not alive. Therefore, we give life and we command growth to be the proof of that life. Let your business grow. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a medical person here. You are not, you are not a student. But you are writing. A, you are about to write an exam. That means you are a doctor. You are a full doctor. But there is, an, is, there is an exam. There's something like that. Am I right? Just correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just saying. Uh, uh, you, uh, not, a, uh, not an undergraduate, please. You are not an undergraduate. But there's... Who failed the one he wrote before? Don't be embarrassed. This I just want to pray because. Huh? He failed the first time. Who wrote in Ghana? Do they write that exam in Ghana? I'm seeing someone writing in Ghana. Accra, Ghana. That's what I mean. Medical. A Nigerian. No, Nigerian medical exam. But it has to do in Ghana. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't know where he is. But for your brother that, that, did, that, that failed. It doesn't mean he's dull. In the name of Jesus. We empower his mind. And we declare that he must pass. You too, you are writing the exam. You are a doctor. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. This will be your first time writing it. Go and excel. In the name of Jesus. Go and excel. We decree. We establish it by the spirit of God. There is a spirit in man, Elihu said. 
and the inspiration of the Almighty can make men of understanding. We declare that you will be of quick understanding. In Jesus' name I pray. Please, madam, don't cry. Madam, don't cry. In the name of Jesus. Madam, don't cry. If, if, we're, if, if I continue to prophesy here, you see we're going to spend the whole night. We have to find somewhere and just stop tonight. God will bring me again in the name of Jesus Christ. And much more than bringing me, God will raise many. In addition to the many that he has raised. So that across the length and the breadth of this city, there will be voices. When Satan hears no in Bukuru, before he gets to Dadinkoa, you hear another no. And all we will drive darkness even from this land. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you. Your name is Patience, but they call you Patience. It sounds funny, but you know, we will say Patience, but they call you Patience. Is there someone like that? You are not, don't be embarrassed, you are not very tall. And you are wearing like a, a, a jacket. A, is it a jacket or a, a patience? Outside? What's her name? Patience. Patience. From where, my dear? From Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes. You call her patience. patience in the office. In the office. Yes. Tonight, leave this conference knowing there is a God in heaven. Leave this conference knowing. lives your life my dear I stretch my hands now and I declare in the name of Jesus that everything that represents shame and reproach that name Ichabod I declare that it lives your life forever in the name of Jesus and for you my dear I pray for you the Lord himself will keep you from evil that prayer lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil is a powerful prayer I pray that prayer for you your innocence will not be manipulated and taken advantage of. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord preserve you by his spirit. In Jesus' name. Let's lift our hands. We have to round up. Father, in the name that is above all names, we thank you for this encounter tonight. You are here. Please drop your hands in for a minute. You are here, scattered across the overflow and right in here. And whilst you saw the Lord move, touching people, blessing people, the Lord began to speak to you that there is need to make your ways right. I believe that people should be born again. People must be born again. Jesus is a serious matter. It's not an option. He said, you must be born again. You are here, you probably have found yourself in the things of God, but for whatsoever reason, things went haywire and you just know that you need him. I'm going to count one to five. Our time is up. Inside, outside, run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here. One. Come in a nakane. Come in a nakane. Come in a nakane. Come in a nakane. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Komina Nakane, Yeshua, keep coming.
Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. Join them. I'm not sure. I don't know the name of what I'm doing. I just know I, I don't seem to be an evil person. When you are not sure, there is something called the assurance of salvation. Please make your way quickly. Don't be ashamed. Don't say I came together with my family and then I'm ashamed um, and so on and so forth. Don't, don't allow him, don't allow the devil take advantage of you. He must perfect your experience tonight. Keep coming. You must be born again. The more we have people who are saved, the more we have bodies that God can use to glorify himself. Every one of you standing here, please don't be embarrassed. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Some of you are crying. When he comes, he will never condemn you. He's the spirit of grace and the spirit of love. Lift your right hand and please pray. You're not reciting a poem. Jesus is here. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it again, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I believe in you, that you are the Son of God. I come to you, just as I am. Just help those under the anointing. This night, I declare that Jesus is my Lord. Jesus, my Savior. Jesus, my King. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign I want to pray for you now say after me I'm a child of God I have the life of God from today and forever I belong to Jesus and I will live for him Jesus I present to you the ones you died for I stretch my hands over every one of you and according to the authority of scripture I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to live a victorious life comes upon you right now the power of sin, the power of death, the power of the flesh is broken once and for all over your life and I decree and declare that the grace to walk in victory is given to you every guilt, every shame, every pain, every hurt I declare that it is gone right now in the name of Jesus, I welcome you to the family of God and I declare in the name of Jesus, you will go forward and forward and forward alone in Jesus' name. Okay, now this is what I want you to do. All of you, there are a number of you who are rounding up. Please, all of you in concert. I know that there are a number of you now I believe that the officials here will speak to you very briefly you'll be very brief just follow through with them if you need to complete anything please complete it legibly and truthfully remember you are now saved all of you this way in concert let's honor them as they go please celebrate them as they go hold on what's that She's not well. Okay, mama, hold my hand. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Whatever it is, whether it is madness, help her. Out! Now! I declare in the name of Jesus, complete healing for you. In Jesus' name. So please drive all, all of them. Just let them have. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I gave a prophecy yesterday during the Kingdom Wealth Summit that I would like to say again that there is a mighty revival that is brewing in Joss and very soon there is going to be a strange move of God the way it was before. Our generation has hardly seen a real move of God at a territorial level but I know by the Spirit of God with all the ministries that are working it's not, this is not something that one man will birth. It's going to be a synergy. And that does not necessarily mean working together. It means God himself distributing dimensions of himself. And together like a mighty army, something will happen in this land that will cause many to come. It's not only tin and columbites that will bring people. The nations will flow to this region and say God is doing something here. 
and I pray that the Lord will bless every one of you on short notice within 24 hours you made out time to be here I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus you will return with the evidence of his presence and every other issue of concern whether I mentioned it or not I agree with you that it becomes your testimony and for the members of House on the Rock we declare that the next level is your prophecy you will rise from glory to glory in the name of Jesus pastor thank you just thank you the Lord bless you Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka na kata branda kete katos, kete branda kata bako tos koto prekete kene kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.